what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so right now i'm on my way to a sports medicine doctor to look at my ankle so a couple of weeks ago when i was playing in a women's league I sprained my ankle coming down on the floor pretty hard. Now, I've had a couple of volleyball injuries in my life. This was one of those injuries that I've had that has just been lingering. It has been lasting for a while, and I thought that it would be something that I can heal myself with my exercise science background. However, it proved that I could not heal it. So what I did was I made an appointment with a sports therapist and a sports medicine doctor here in my local area, and now I'm going to go see them so that that way they can give me some insight on how to properly take care of my ankle. Now this is something that I do want to get some more information on for you all because I know that volleyball injuries are so, it hap they happen a lot. And it's so important to have the right information so you know who to go to, um, you know what to do about them and that way we're always safe all the time. So. I'm gonna to go to this doctor right now. Hopefully they tell me some good news that it's gonna be healable, that I have a short healing time, so that way I can get back on the court because I do have a lot of volleyball events that are coming up soon that I really wanna prepare for and I really want to feel better on my ankle and it just be more comfortable. And I know that it's important to, when you're playing on an injury, which you should never do, I know that it's important to take care of these injuries so that way we have a longer playing time. So in my life I've had maybe a couple of sprained ankles I did pull my back a couple of years ago when I was trying to pancake but then also I have had a long-term rotator cuff tendonitis which is in my shoulder from all of the swings so this visit I'm gonna go see about my right knee um, and which is something that just is with age and this ankle so hopefully they tell me something good so let's go and see what they say have some really great news. I have cartilage. I'm super excited because, okay, so I went to the sports medicine doctor. She gave me some really, really great news and insight. She did let me know that I did have a ankle sprain that was pretty bad like I thought, but she also did say that a lot of the preventative methods that I used were really effective in preventing it from being even more damaged, especially when I had to continue to play on it, which I never recommend doing. So what they did was she did she did palpate, which means she did kind of feel around the knee and my, um, my ankle. She felt for injuries, she felt for soreness to try to get a better idea of exactly where it was hurting and what I did hurt. Then she recommended that I got an x-ray, which I did get. I got an x-ray and she did the x-ray and she talked to me about it. I got some pictures, so I'm gonna insert that footage here. Now, during the x-ray, she did talk to me about what she did see, what's normal for my age, because I'm 26, so what's normal for my age, what's normal for um, the sport that I play, and what are some of the things that can happen that I can prevent. And it was just really great news, and it was really great to get some professional insight about what's going on, because self-diagnosing is never a good idea. You should always try to, if you can, because I know money and finances and insurance and things like that are wackadoodle, that you should get professional insight because you should get more information about what to do for your body because we only have one and you have to treat your body well and take care of yourself. So I'm glad that I took this opportunity to practice self-care, take care of myself for the sport that I love so I can continue playing for several, several years. Now, if you want me to do a video on some of the things that I do that I did to prevent myself from hurting myself further while playing because sometimes we're in a tough spot where we have to, I will take that recommendation and I might make a video about that. 
But thank you so much for coming with me as I go and investigate more about what's going on with my ankle and my knee. I haven't been playing as much because of that specific issue, and I'm glad that I got that resolved. So I do have a follow-up appointment in about four to six weeks. I scheduled it out six weeks so that way I can make sure to take time and do all of the recommendations. <clears throat> She did recommend me for either home exercises or physical therapy. I've been to physical therapy in the past, so I think I'm going to do a physical therapy appointment again because not only was it helpful, but it also taught me more about my body and taught me more about what to do um, with volleyball injuries. So I'm gonna try to schedule physical therapy appointments for once a week so that way I can get in there and get some more information and that way I can heal faster so that way I can play all this summer. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video and this journey on, you know, finding more about my x-rays and about this ankle. And I hope that you like it. And I'll see you guys next time.